the Atwood machine. An Atwood machine is a classical physics device that can be used to calculate gravitational acceleration. And here's the problem. A space alien lands on a planet in our solar system. He, or she, wants to know the magnitude of the gravitational acceleration at the planet's surface. Using an Atwood machine released from rest, the alien collects the following data. First mass is 2 kilograms, the second mass is 4 kilograms. The distance that the masses travel through is 1 meter. The time it takes to travel through that 1 meter is 1.26 seconds. And the v naught is written as 0 meters per second. Question of the day, what planet is the alien on? Okay. Using Newton's laws of motion, you can use this famous formula. Sum of all forces on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its net acceleration. And here they are. Each mass is connected to uh, a rope that's strung over a pulley. The tension in both sides is going to be equal. So the positive force going up, T, the weight, M1 times G, going down, is equal to the mass of that object times the acceleration of that object. For M1, since it's lighter than M2, you can infer that the M1 is going to go up, giving this a positive A. Rewriting to solve for T, T equals M1A minus M1G. The same is done for the second mass. The net force on the second mass is equal to M2 times A. Positive T going up, it's over here. Negative weight going down, M2G. And that equals the mass of the second object times negative A because this object is heavier so it's the it's going to go down it's going to accelerate toward the planet rewriting for t t equals m2 times negative a minus m2g since both equations have a t in them they can be set equal to each other m1a minus m1g equals m2 times negative a minus m2g. Solving for g, we see that g is equal to a times the sum of the mass divided by the difference of the mass. We know everything on the right side except for acceleration. We have to use our kinematic equations from earlier sections to solve for it. We know delta y, we know t, and we know v naught. The equation we use is this one. Delta y equals v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. Plugging all the values we know, we see that 1 meter equals 1 half a times 1.26 seconds squared. A is the only unknown value. Notice that since v naught equals 0, it canceled out of the equation. This term equals 0, so I didn't write it over here. Solving for a, a equals 1 meter divided by 1 half times 1.26 seconds squared. Plug it into your calculator, and you'll get that a equals 1.2598 meters per second squared. Okay, now, from earlier, we see that G equals A times M1 plus M2 divided by M1 minus M2. Plugging in everything we know, we see that G equals that times all of that. Plug it into your calculator. G 
is equal to negative 3.779 meters per second squared. The negative denotes the direction of the acceleration. Since our positive direction was up, our negative went down. So this means that g is going down. To find out what planet they're on, you can look up various gravitational accelerations. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but if you don't feel like looking up the answer, the answer is in the sidebar.